I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. These days I am unable to make some videos because of the fractured hand. However, here is a very important topic. Some of my students are just beginning to learn calculus this semester. Normally you begin with rationalization. So this video could be one of your first on calculus getting started. Let's try to understand the correct way of rationalizing the functions. The question here is rationalize the numerator 1 over square root x minus 1 over x minus 1. So this part here is the numerator. Correct? So we need to rationalize the numerator. First thing what we look into is the conjugate of numerator. So to find conjugate, we just change this particular sign. So the conjugate here is 1 over square root of x. And this sign will be changed to positive. So we get that as the conjugate. Now, the idea is to multiply and divide by the conjugate. So that we could simplify the expression. That's the whole idea, right? So, so let's begin. We have our function, which is 1 over square root of x minus 1 over x minus 1. We'll multiply and divide by this conjugate which is 1 over square root of x plus 1 over 1 over square root of x plus 1. Now when you do this in the numerator what we get is these are a minus b times a plus b right. So let me write down here it is kind of a plus b times a minus b. And when you multiply, you get a square minus b square, right? So you get the square of the first term and the square of the other term, and that is the difference of square. So the numerator you get is 1 over x, which is square of square root. Strictly speaking, it is absolute value of x, right? And minus 1. Okay. So that is what you get. Okay. Now, in the denominator, we have two parts to be multiplied. So, so we'll write it as x minus 1 times 1 over square root of x plus 1. Right. Now, the word of caution here is that do not expand denominator. So if you do that, in that case, you are wasting a lot of time and, uh, you know, uh, that is not the right process. Okay. So we have done the rationalization. The second part here is to simplify this particular expression. Now, how do we do that? Well, we'll take a common denominator and then work our way through. So from here, we can write the numerator as common denominator being x, 1 minus x, right? And the denominator which we have here is these two terms which should not be multiplied. Do not expand them, right? So that's the whole idea of making this particular video. So that should help you to understand, right? So that is major thing to learn in this part of the video. Okay, now let's look into how to simplify. Working with multi-layer fractions is also a problem at many times. So look at it. It is 1 minus x over x. Let me write in a different thing. 1 minus x over x, correct? And the other expression given on this side is like 1 over, so you can say dot multiplied by. You can write this as 1 over x minus 1 times 1 over square root of x plus 1. Does it make sense, right? So, so these are equivalent expressions. Perfect. So in writing like this, you have avoided that multi-layer fractions, it may become very cumbersome at times. 
So simplify your expressions as you move along, correct? Now here, uh, we have x minus 1 in the denominator, 1 minus x in the numerator. It's a good idea to write this as negative of x minus 1. Correct? So that becomes our next step. And in the denominator, we have all these terms. We should multiply this x with the brackets inside to simplify. Right? So we have here x minus 1 as one of these terms. And then we are going to multiply with x these terms. Right? Let me do it in the next step. No rush, right? So this is an additional step. I could have done it anyway. So we'll just go one more step here. So we get x minus 1 in the numerator and in the denominator. When I multiply x over square root x, what is that? Look here. x over square root of x is equal to square root of x, correct? Right? Since you get this x by multiplying two square roots of x, correct? So when you multiply with the first term, what you get inside this bracket is square root of x plus x times 1, which is x. Is that clear to you? At this stage, you can now cross x minus 1 and then you get your result, which is minus 1 over square root of x plus x. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear, right? And the word of caution here is, do not expand. Imagine, if, if you would have expanded this part in that case, you will have to combine the terms to factor and only then you will be in a position to cancel the terms. So that will be added work and time is very precious. So I hope that part is absolutely clear. Now here is an alternate suggestion, right? So the alternate suggestion is simplify numerator, right? So, so we could simplify numerator first, right? So alternate is simplify numerator. Then rationalize. Correct. So now, I'll take up the alternate method, we'll save two steps in this method and hopefully it becomes simpler as this part here was kind of tricky, right? So have a look at the alternate method now. So now let us talk about the alternate method. I prefer this method over the previous one. The idea here is, first, when you have this kind of an expression, which is itself a multi-layer fraction, let us try to simplify it. So what we could have done here is, we first simplify the numerator. You can see the numerator is square root of x taking common. We got 1 minus square root of x, right, over x minus 1, correct? So I could have directly written this function as 1 minus square root x in the numerator divided by, now this square root comes in the denominator, right? So we have square root of x times x minus 1. Do you see that part? So what I'm trying to say here is that simplify your expression first, right? So we have avoided that additional layer of fractions. Perfect. And now rationalize numerator. Does make sense, right? So, so we'll again follow the same process here, but it is much simpler as you can appreciate. See what we have now here is. So we'll rationalize with the conjugate, and conjugate of one minus square root of x is one plus square root of x. So we'll multiply and divide by one plus square root of x. So when you multiply, you get in the numerator difference of squares which is 1 minus x and in the denominator do not expand right do not expand so we get here square root of x times x minus 1 times 1 plus square root of x right now since we'll have the same strategy we have 1 minus x in the numerator let me just expand like this 
we'll write this as minus of x minus 1. We have x minus 1 in the denominator, right? So that is the reason why. So we have this x minus 1, we can cancel this, and this square root of x will get multiplied with the inside function, right? So we have square root of x, let me rearrange and write it, 1 plus square root of x. Now as we did earlier, we are going to cancel this, and we get minus 1 on the top, the denominator will be square root of x. And square root square root gives us x, and that becomes our answer. Do you see that part? So this is a much, much simpler way of doing it. Since it is the very first exercise, if you try to simplify and then work, calculus will be very easy, and you will save time and complete the test papers very easily. So that is my first tip on your introduction to calculus. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.